Keep ripping, gentlemen. This is a battle, a war, and the casualties could be your hearts and souls. Armies of academics measuring poetry. No! We will not have that here. No more Mr. J. Evans Pritchard. Now, my class, you are going to learn to think for yourselves again. You're going to learn to savor words and language. No matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. Now I see that look in Mr. Pitt's eye, like 19th century literature has nothing to do with going to business school or medical school, right? Maybe. And Mr. Hopkins, you may be thinking, yes, why don't we simply study our Mr. Pritchard, learn our rhyme and meter, then go quietly about the business of achieving other ambitions. I have a little secret for you. Huddle up. Huddle up! We don't read and write poetry to be cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. And the human race is filled with passion. And law and business, medicine, engineering, these are all noble pursuits necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. To quote Whitman, <clears throat> O me, O life, of the questions of these recurring, of the endless trains of the faithless, of cities filled with the foolish, what good amid these? O me, O life. Answer, that you are here. That life exists and identity. That the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. That the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. What will your verse be?